enemy my God Almighty of their soul scatter in the name of Jesus Christ Holy Ghost fire blood and water take over my God Almighty Rebebe Kondon Boshanda Ribia Kandel Bekende Roko Sata Mama Kundai Ikandel Bekende in the mighty precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ it is time for them to rise time for them to rise time for them to rise the sky must be their limit I command my God Almighty Vincent to rise my God Almighty to pop out of whatever padlock whatever madness they have put on him I send it right back to sender my God Almighty I send it back my God Almighty to those that conspire against their life in the name of Lord Jesus Christ yeah, though they walk through the valley of the shadow of death let them fear no evil for you are with them you are ready to self comfort them prepare a table for them in the presence of their enemy Father God let this rain that come down on them let it be a blessing let it my God I command the rain to cease I command the rain to stop I command the rain my God Almighty Kondolobo Shanda to shift somewhere else let the sun come out and shine it doesn't matter what time of the day in the mighty precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ for you are God your Lord your King I speak over them my God Almighty Psalms my God Almighty Hallelujah 27 I speak Psalms 91 I speak over them my God Almighty Hallelujah Psalms 109 for their enemy I speak over their life my God Almighty Kondolobo Shanda Deuteronomy my God Almighty 28 from 1 to my God Almighty 14 in the name of Jesus Christ and as they arise Lord God Almighty let their enemy go down and know that there's a God Almighty that don't like wickedness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ glory be to God my God Almighty receive 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 in the name of Jesus Christ receive Vincent receive Vincent in the name of Jesus Christ receive your deliverance receive Mama Ribiasha Mama Kanda Ribiakotariaba Mama Mama in the name of Jesus Christ arise and shine for your time has come and the glory of God has risen upon you and your family in Jesus name for all the years for all the years that my God Almighty the caterpillar and the conga worm has stolen from you I speak respiration in your all life in Jesus name respiration in Jesus name go forth minister gay with them right now in Jesus name go forth go forth
soon so I can go forth and do the sit the wall because I have to keep my bed in the morning or I have to run out and walk the committee and do the sit the Lord. Let her talk about the things them that God has bring forth. Minister Gay, remind her of them, please. Exactly. So as the Holy Ghost was showing about Vincent, now yeah, Vincent true. is is who to you? Who is Vincent? That's my brother. That's my husband, brother. Okay. So there were specific things that God was speaking about pertaining to Vincent. Yeah, they are true. With you, I was speaking to Apostle Mama about it, and I was telling her, who is responsible for his sickness? So Apostle is right. She's in from God. She's speaking the truth. She's speaking the sick the Lord. And also, wasn't there um, an incident with, uh, I'm going back to the beginning part, where it was, um, there was like a robbery or some type of... Yes, yeah, yes, there was a robbery, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, that's true. And, and they said, and they to get the car and carry the things away. That's exactly what happened, correct? Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, that's true. We, hold on, hold on, let's just hold on. Okay, go ahead, mommy. Yes, so the robbery, that's true. The, the man drove the truck, I knew him, is a part of it. The one that died, I knew him, is a part of it because in top of the moon, he was the guy. And he, 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 when, when the man had the the shop, he come there and I make after his girlfriend. And because he, he, she never into him, being the age he's there. So everything Apostle said is true. And the thing about it is, Apostle does not deny didn't know any of these details. No, she didn't. 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 She that is coming from the throne of God. I said when she was talking, my eyes seem to I just want to show to her, I just want to know. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. And, what about when, and what about when the Holy Ghost took a trip in your body? Yeah. You speak about that. I can hardly get up. I have pain all over. And I pass the gear sometimes. I say, no, I say, can you tell me what I'm going to do? And how do you feel now once the prayer went forth to loose and break? How do you feel? I feel, trust me, I feel, I feel different. Trust me, I'm going to victory. I'm just feeling the victory. I'm just receiving everything in the name of Jesus. I'm just because I believe in prayer. I know that prayer will, and prayer has been no distant. And is there anything else you want to speak about that the Lord revealed that touched you in particular, anything that really, you know, stands out to you. Every, everything we should, we should talk is true, that stand out. About Sister Nora, she'd been suffering. She, would, she turned her life over to God, so I pray that things will change, as she see God do, that things will change for her and her children. And I hope that makes me back to my life, I mean, to go and meet me, get my, my visa so I can travel. And everything she says is true. Everything just touched me. Everything that sometimes when I, she, when she, and I'm not responding to her, I'm just so more broken, you know, just hearing the truth coming from way over yonder. Taking it all in is what you're saying. You're, you're yeah. trying to absorb it and, and process it. Uh, right. That. I know because when you're hearing it, it's like part of you is excited. Because you're right. hearing it, and the other part is saying, "Wow, yeah, yeah." Like there's something else. Yeah, they just make you feel your, your spirit. You know, you're just broken, and you're in tears, and you're, you know, you just want to roll and shout, "Jesus!" And so fix you, but so God be the glory. I'm missing nothing, and I'm claiming back my victory. I'm taking back all that the enemy has stolen. So I'm a family of things. As true, because I don't want to move and then the enemy has to care move you and I was having something to put the end and I'm that why. But I'm still you know, I'm being filled with you, what's going on, what's going on. Sometimes you're in the spiritual room, this time you hope, 
God had this for you on this timing. You know, look yeah. where we are. We're two days before the end of this year. Yeah, yeah and that just what? freedom. Yeah, you just break down and everything. Yeah, yeah. seventeen. But yeah. Hey. And you know, when this and, and, and my dear sister, when this is posted on YouTube, what you can do is uh, it, this message will be in, in many parts because of the amount of time since we've been on since 6 a.m. So what will happen is these will be, you know, broken out into part one, two, three, four, however many parts it becomes. And what you can do is when it is posted, always it will say deliverance time and it will have the date. And in addition to all, the, of course, the other wonderful messages and prayers on there, you can go back and you can listen again. Yeah, it really does, you know, it's... Are they Yes. So what it'll do is it'll help you listen to it again. Minister Gay, she was saying something. To Minister Gay, she was saying something about YouTube. Listen to what she was saying about YouTube. Yes. Right. She was saying she follows you on YouTube. Okay. So she's aware of the channel. So what will happen is, as you continue to check, because when you follow on YouTube, it will give you a notification that a new message has been posted. So yeah, when there's yeah. a new message, and you see, it will say deliverance time, and it will have 1229. You can okay. go back, and you can revisit the message and let it just continue to saturate and soak into your spirit. I will. And you will, you know, you will really, really, really be blessed as yeah. you hear, you know, the journey that the Holy Ghost was taking you on. Yeah, I'm so blessed and relieved. I feel like a lot of come up for me. Bless God, so you feel lighter, right, my sister? Lighter. Always, yeah, yeah, yeah. always, yeah. always, my dear Vincent, how is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh my God! You shouldn't have let him. You all should try and get him there. Oh Jesus! He was here when you prayed, you know, after you put permission. Yeah, but I wanted. You see, there has to be a test with what going on, and I, I, I love when you know people like him. You have to test out his mind, name it, and what have you, because it is for you to see the manifestation of God right away. Okay. On his life, you get what I'm saying. So I, I wish if he was in the midst. I, I try and get him on another day, uh, uh, and because uh, he the numbers, so I will try and hook up. Right. And hook him up. Glory be to God. Bless yeah. God. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Uh, and you let him, you let him listen to it as well. You know. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Yes, bless God, because it really does make a difference when you hear it again. Yeah. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, Jesus. Everyone want to give God praise for what he did for our brother Vincent, for Mother Pat, and for anyone else that was in the midst. Jurisdiction in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. Glory. God can travel. Today, God traveled to Haiti via the Creole. He traveled to Jamaica. God was very busy moving. We give God glory. We give God glory. God bless. God bless. Yes, bless God, you. Bless God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Let me get um to um sister Mother. Eva um teacher Shalanda. You already know you were you were you were speaking to Eleanor. Eleanor, Eleanor, sorry, sorry, I made a mistake. Eleanor, Eleanor yes. That's okay. Yes, continue. Um yes. Minister, yes. Minister yes. Eleanor, glory be to Eleanor. God. Hallelujah. So, my God Almighty, as I, my God Almighty, hallelujah, hear where you are concerned, Marco said to the candle, knowing that, my God Almighty, the enemy, 
don't want to my God Almighty, hallelujah, for your daughter. To my God Almighty, rise. And, you know, I, as I said, I see you in the kitchen. My God Almighty and your dear, you know, talking to the Lord, pertaining to the situation and saying, God, Marco said to the candle, and my daughter, God, I'm so concerned about her because it has been a way, it is, it has been a weight that has been weighing you down, weighing you down. And even in the midst of gathering, you really miss your daughter very much. Yes, yes, yes. And it is my God Almighty, it is for you to understand and know. Jesus Christ. Yes, yes, yes. It is for you to understand and know. Jesus Christ. Robo Kotoria Basata, Mama Konde. Can um can Minister Gay, you know all I'm here because of the noise I because of the noise I had was to mute my phone. Remind me of what I was saying not too long to Sister Shalando. Sister um Eleanor. Keep mixing the name. Just now what you were saying? Yes, just now what I was saying to her. The phone was mute. I just catch myself. You were talking about the daughter. You were talking about the daughter. Yes. Did you hear what I was saying? Um, yes. I, about the, uh, the young man. He's Jewish. He's about the young man. And he's trying to turn her away from uh, what we've taught her concerning the Lord and what she knows about the Lord. Yes, and right. there was something that... There was something that was said is that the kind of life, life that the, 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 the brother, the young man want for her to live is not, yes. the, you know, this is not something that she was grown up into and name it and what have you. So your fine is taking her mind. You find he, he, he has, you know, messed up her mind. He has really and truly messed up her mind. Not even you, the mother, he want her to call. He don't want her to have anything to do with her family, but to keep her in a place where he can have control over her life. And because he knows the potential of what she is. Is this, I don't remember what was said last week. Is she like in the doctor field or something like that? Medical, whatever. She's a, she's, she's a corporate lawyer. Oh, she's, she's a lawyer. Marco said, because I'm trying to remember if anything was said about doctor, whatever it was. Marco said, and because he knows... He know, my God Almighty, that he can able to capture her because he wanted to use her money with his money to do whatever so that he can control and name it and what of you. So that's why he, that's why he's doing all these things to her so that she will not able, you know, as he said, if he said, Jump, she said, oh, I. If he, she said, if he, if he said, run, she asked, oh, fast. I mean, all these things, all these things, because the reason why the Lord have me to call back on you this week, because the Lord, he, 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 the Lord said, the way you cry for your daughter is a, is, it's a situation where, it touching his heart. It is touching his heart. Because you 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 see the wickedness that has take place pertaining to her. And the way she's living right now is like she ate God. It's Robo Kotoria Basanda. The way she's living right now is like she ate God. She don't want to have anything to do with church, God, this, that, name it, or what have you. She's just living a wayward life that is not of God. Because he's using everything with witchcraft. It's all about witchcraft. Because what I see with this brother, my God Almighty... What I see with him, I see with him where he's like into some, some kind of organization thing, you know, some, from the college, 
you know, he has been mixed up into some, what do you call it, Neg nigger, ma nigger, ma nigger, nigger, come people, help me. Necromancy. 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 He has been mixed up into those kind of things where, you know, they practice these kind of wickedness in the college and name it and what of you. And I want to tell you something too. It's very, he, he, he have his, even is very, he have an auntie that is a witch. Yes, he have somebody that is a witch. And because he have his mother, his mother also involved in it because he's a his two sister thing. Yeah. Two, really? yeah. two sister, two sister. <laughs> this is a family that believe in this witchcraft thing and this thing yeah. and what have you and she, and and that's what she get caught up into because she have to my God Almighty Hallelujah. In the midst of her, she have to take care of the whole family. They take her away from you for all that you have spent and done and do to her is like nothing. It's like her mind is not her own. Her mind is not her own. Let me say something to you. I don't know if you realize and know it that when she was in college, whenever she like come home to you, she have a way of sitting down like itching her head and biting her nails and acting strange. Like it's like her mind it's like her mind pulling her away pulling her away so she would be sitting down my god almighty like she's alice in wonderland some of the time where you know she catch herself yeah. and try to try to get herself intact because of the wickedness that is reaching her <laughs> marco said to the candle about shende Robo Kotoria Basanda. Her very sisters that she used to love so much and care for them and want to do so much for them and so forth. They have turned her mind from the fa Ribi Asha They have turned her mind so much. Marco that even if it's a case for her to see you, she would just want to just look at you, just wave to you and go on about her business. Because they have turned her mind. Marco said to the candle of Shende, Robo Kotoria Basata, Rabba Konde. Mama Shende, Rika Sotoria Basanda. Mama Shokoria, Baka Sataria, Kandi Andoro, Bo Sataria, Makuku. Robo Sondo de Bokondi and the Basha. Fire, fire, fire. Marco said to be candle Boshende. Did I call her name last week? Amaral. Amaral. I want somebody to call her name straight up. I don't not hear Minister Gay. Can you get her name straight up for me? Amaral. Oh, Amaral. Amaral. Right. I know her name was called. I just want to make sure. Marco said to the candle. Amaral. Marco said to the candle. Boshi and Nananakunda. You have to understand that God is digging root, and the gates of hell shall not prevail in Jesus' name. Rabba Kotoria Bashende. Robo Kotoria Baba Basondo Roko Sataria Mama Kushende Ika Sata Mama Kunde Robo Kotoria Baba Basa Mama Shende Roko Sata Baba Bakende Set to the candle of Shende In the mighty name of Jesus Christ my God Almighty your tears will not go in vain Your tears will not go in vain Rabba Kotoria Basanda Rabba Kotoria Mama Kende. I don't know what I'm seeing, but I don't know if you 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 know where they live or not. But I'm just seeing their house looking like a castle-looking thing. You know the way it look. I have never been to his house, but his parents are they're well off, and uh, they they have a very well off people. All right, hold on, hold on. Don't go any further. Don't go any further. 
But they are in witchcraft. They are in witchcraft because her money is flowing in the facilities of them. They have control over yeah. her life. And the thing about it is that it's not... This is, listen, me say this to you. She has been captured by this young man because he's, he's not... He, she didn't want him. No, no. She didn't want him. She was talking to a nice, tall, handsome-looking. This this young man that I see even look like he mix or whatever. But she was more talking to that person. But he just see her and you know wanted to. And you know, let me say something to you. What you have to understand is that hey, mm, what you have to understand is that. What you have to understand is that because, because of the, there's, a, there's a calling on her life. You understand what I'm saying? Pardon me? Yes, yeah, true, Pastor, I know. Because there's a calling on her life. The witches, them tap in. They tap into her life and see like they want to use her spirit to have to be one of them. I bind that up in Jesus' name. I bind that up in Jesus' name. Marco said to the candle of Shende. Robo Kotoria Babasanda. I come against that in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Roko Sataria Makonde. Robo Kotoria Bababashanda. Raba Kotoria Bababa Keke. Roko Satara Lama Nasa Nadada Kando. In the name of Jesus Christ, the gates of hell shall not prevail in Jesus' name. Marco Setri Kando Boshende. Mama Shande Keke Kora Basanda. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Wherever she is. You know what I see? I see her. Like in the midst of where they try to. Do whatever. They do it with, like in her sleeping. In her sleeping they do all these wicked things. In her sleeping, they do all these wicked things. The gates of hell shall not prevail in Jesus' name. Rabba Kotoria Baseke. Robo Konderikanda. Marco Seturikanda Boshende. Rabba Kotoria Basanda. I'm going to pray. Because she has been, be, she has been, this is what you call bewitch. Marco said to the candle of Oshanda. Rabba Kotoria, Baba Basheke, Nene Ne Kendolo Bosata. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Do you ever have a dream with her and see her turn like she turn her back from you? Mm -hmm. When I see it, see it in the dream, she she was so far out it's like she is you you're like history to her history and that is that is how they that is how they capture and take over her mind that is how they capture and take over her mind Marco said to the candle of Oshende, Rabba Kotobia Sanda. The guy see her, he likes her, and you know they wanted to to use her spirit, as I said, because she have a very strong spirit. 
She has a very strong spirit. I see her as a prophetess. Marco. Ribi Asha! I see her as a prophetess, as a prophet for the Lord Jesus Christ. Marco said to the candle of Oshende. Roko Satariyama ma kondolo bo sende. Hi baba shanda. Roko setelia sanda lala kutu. Mia kunde bebe setoriyama ma kondo. Robo sata. I'm going to pray in Jesus name. Marco setori kandolo bo shende. The gates of hell. Shall not prevail in Jesus' name. Marco send the candle boso. Mama Shonde. Is she is she a lover of listen me, is she a lover of puppy? Yes, yes, she got a puppy when she came home and when the got him off the plane and I went to pick him up with her. Marco set the candle boshende. Robo Bosondo. Mama Shata, it is so sad. She don't remember even her little sisters, them. Two of her sisters, she and them used to be so nice. My God Almighty. They all were together like Little House and the Peary. Where you see those three sisters, those three girls, click together. That's all they was. Marco said to the candle of Shende, Roko Sata, Mary Lara, and the little teeny one there, I forget her name. They were all like, like, just like Little House and the period. In the midst of mother and father, just the same. In the midst, my God Almighty, when father, my God Almighty was just the same. Until these wicked people come in the midst, this wicked man come in the midst, my God Almighty, and capture her spirit. And take control over her and pull her away from the family. Marco said to the candle of You have to just trust God to know that God is going to move and take over in Jesus' name. Marco said to the candle of Oshanda. Rabba Kotoria Basende. Dear, you know what I see? I even see in the midst of the home where you are. I see things that she, even if she moving you know, or she would never leave those things. And things is, it's like many things is like, I mean, things that she, you know, uh, like would attach herself to and promise that, you know, she would have these things with her. That, it's, it's like these things are like nothing because her plan wasn't to move out like that. Her plan was to wait until she get married, until this happened, things happen for her. Da, 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 da. But because because of the wicked act of what happened to her, she just happened to my God Almighty. Make that, it's a switch that the enemy make with her, a switch. But in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm going to pray. Jesus is a miracle working God. Jesus is a miracle working God. He is a wonder. He is a miracle. Jesus is a miracle working God. He is the healer, he's the bomber. He is the true, the true physician. He walk on the water. He caused the lame to walk, the blind to see, and the dumb to talk. He command the wind and the wave to stand still. He come on, my God Almighty madness, to go into the pigs. He come on them to go in the water and drown. Right now I'm telling you, hello Lord, that your daughter will come back to her mind. 
because Jesus is still the healer, he's still the bomber. Jesus is still the true physician, the miracle working God. He caused the lame to walk, he caused the dumb to talk. Remember what he did with the man that filled with many, many legions. He will never leave you nor forsake you. He will never turn his back on your situation. Because he see that you're a caring mother and you love him and you don't love wickedness. Just trust the Lord Jesus Christ and know that he will fight for you and your children's life. I said, Jesus is a miracle working God. He promised never to leave nor forsake. He's a miracle working God. He never leave you nor forsake you. I rise up to tell you Psalms 23 will operate for you and your children. Just trust the Lord God Almighty. He will do it again and again and again. Just trust the Lord God Almighty, for He will never forsake you, my dear. Hallelujah. Glory. 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 Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, King of the universe, God of more than enough, Rebbe Kotori Abashanda, God that my God Almighty can mend the broken vessel. God Almighty, whenever my God Almighty anything is put apart, you are God in the midst. To take over, move in might and in power. I ask you, Lord God Almighty, to take full control right now over your daughter Elo Eleanor, my God Almighty, and her children, them. Call out your daughter name. Call out your daughter name. I call for camera. I call Rivia I call you forth in the name of Jesus Christ. I command every witch is my God Almighty Spirit to lift from off you. You shall not be no witch. You shall not be in the midst of them. You shall not love what they are doing. You shall rise up as a daughter of Zion and my God Almighty cancel their work in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command fire up on your head. Fire up on your head, camera. Fire up on your head, camera. Fire up on your head, camera. Fire Rivia I send the fire in your midst to burn off every carnality, every plan of the enemy, everything that they have done to your mind. I call forth your mind. Camera! I call your mind to come forth in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I lose you. I set you free from every witches, every Marco said the candle was shende, every warlock. I remember Toria In the name of Jesus Christ, you must rise. You must go to church. You must able my God to serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Marco said the candle was shende. They have took her away because they know that my God she's from a Christian family and they want to mess up their, her mind into their wicked, my God Almighty, Illuminati, whatever they are doing. So I bind up every forces, every darkness, every spirit. I come against every plan of Satan. I mash down their table. I send fire in their midst, fire in their camp, fire to bring down their works, my God Almighty. Holy Ghost, fire, blood and water, fight for my God Almighty, camera. Fight, my God Almighty, condo shatter. Fight and turn over their table. Fire from heaven, come down with lightning, brimstone, and fire. Lightning, brimstone, and fire upon the witch's table. Lightning, brimstone, and fire upon them. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command my call Ebekende. Let it be, Lord God Almighty. Just like when my God Almighty, hallelujah, Abraham and his wife Sarah enter into Egypt. And when my God Almighty, hallelujah, my God Almighty, my God, the wicked.
wicked. Fear of see my God Almighty, my God Almighty Sarah. He wanted to be with her. But in the midst, my God Almighty, while she were there, my God Almighty, Pharaoh got a dream. And the dream was, touch not God's anointed. That woman belonged to another. And in the midst of the dream, my God Almighty, fear of my God Almighty got the dream, wake up the morning and said, you need to go because you did not tell me that you have a lover. You did not tell me that you have a husband. And I don't want no judgment in my camp. Father, let them see fire. Let them see Marco Sede Candle Boshende. Let them see my God Almighty camera name. Come in fire, fire, fire. Spell out in fire. Let them feel the fire, my God Almighty, burning. Rabba Kotoria Bashanda. Let them start to see my God Almighty a shaking in the midst of them. Let them come to understand that they have touched the wrong one. That they have touched God's anointed in the name of Jesus Christ. Because Lord God Almighty, when she was a little child, in the midst of her mother, she used to say some things to her mother that it used to blow their mind. Ribiasha! Marco said to the candle Boshende because she used to have angel in the midst, my God Almighty. But because of disobedient, because Lord God Almighty, candle Boshanda, have she been, my God Almighty, a lawyer and doing whatever? She have been tricked by this young man, my God Almighty, to tell her things that is not pleasing in the sight of the Lord Jesus Christ. I bind, I cramp, I paralyze, I shatter, I scatter, I bring down every forces, every darkness in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let God arise and the enemy of their soul scatter, 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 scatter right now. I break up every witch's plan, my God Almighty, against her. I call fire upon their table to loose, my God Almighty, the daughter of Zion, to loose the daughter of Zion. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, she must be loose and set free right now. She must be loose and set free. In the mighty in the name of the Lord God Almighty, she must be loose. I loose her, I set her free. 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 In the name of the Lord God Almighty, I loose her, I set her free. I loose her, I set her free. In the name of the Lord God Almighty, Holy Ghost fire, blood and water, take her over. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let God arise and the enemy scatter. Let God arise and the enemy scatter. Let God arise and the enemy scatter. Holy Ghost fire, blood and water. Holy Ghost fire, blood and water, take over. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Ribia Kondorobo Shende. In the midst of her dream, Holy Spirit, visit, 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 visit. Visit her, my God. Bring back her memory. I call forth back her memory. I come on back her memory. I come on back her memory. God Almighty, whatever scale is upon her, I command it to fall right now. For Ribia Kotoria Bashende, fall right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever scale is upon her, must fall, 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 fall in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God arise, arise, Holy Spirit of God, arise and take over, arise and move in the might and your power. Holy Ghost, fire, blood and water. My God Almighty, take over the mind, take over the mind, my, 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 my mind that must be unto God as it is in Christ Jesus. Mind that my God Almighty mustn't have a spirit of fear, but love, power, and a song mine in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let God arise and the enemy of our soul scatter! 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 Scatter in Jesus' name, which is, which is scatter, scatter, scatter from Camral in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command my God Almighty Ale Stone of Fire to fall upon the witches them right now, right now, right now in Jesus' name. Right there, right there. Ale Coal of Fire fall upon them right now in Jesus' name. And I command them to loose her, loose her, loose her, loose her. I speak in the rim, rim. I command them to hear my voice. Loose camera, loose camera, loose. Rim! Loose her right now and set her free. You witches from the pit of hell. You wicked people. I command you all to surrender or die. Surrender or die. May the power of God come in and give you that warning. For you all to surrender or die in Jesus' name. Marco said to the candle. 
in the mighty precious name of Jesus Christ let God arise and the enemy scatter in Jesus name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Marco said to the candle Boshende Robo Kotoria Baba Sataria Kandai Roko Seteri Kandolo Boshende in the mighty precious name of Jesus Christ let God arise and the enemy scatter in Jesus name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ God arise and the enemy scatter in Jesus name God arise and the enemy scatter in the mighty name of Jesus Christ God as I give you the praise as I give you the glory as I give you the honor in Jesus holy and precious name glory be to God hallelujah glory be to God hallelujah thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Holy Spirit of God thank you father thank you great I priest thank you great I am in Jesus name in the mighty precious name of Jesus Christ in the mighty powerful name of the Lord Jesus Christ let God arise and the enemy scatter in Jesus name glory be to God hallelujah Glory be to Robo Sataria Mama Konda. Power, 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 fall right now, right. Ibabasha! Fall upon her right now. Find camera. Find camera right now in Jesus' name. Find camera. Find her, find her, find her, find her, find her, find her, find her. Keep my God Almighty and loose her in Jesus' name. I command her to be loose because my God Almighty, there's use for her in the vineyard. Use for her, God. You have use for her, God. So I command her to be loose in the name of Jesus Christ. I command her to be loose in the name of Jesus Christ because you have use for her, God. You have use for her, God. You have use for her, God. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I loose her and I set her free in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God, hallelujah. I'll loose her and set her free in Jesus' name. In the mighty, precious name of Jesus Christ, I loose her and I set her free. I loose her and I set her free in Jesus' name. In the mighty, powerful name of Jesus Christ, I loose her and I set her free in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Savior. Thank you, Redeemer. Thank you, Holy One of Israel. Be thou glorified. I am lifted up in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hear her cry, O oh Lord, as she cry out to your Lord God Almighty. From the end of the earth she cry unto thee, Lord Jesus Christ, for her heart is overwhelmed. Lead her daughter back in the name of I command thee to lead her daughter back. In Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, those that have been taken away with witchcraft, I command them to be lead, led back to their family, to their parents, to their mother, to father, to whoever they belong to. In the name of Jesus Christ, I loose them out of what they are in. I break down every barriers, every gate, every fence, everything that they have them tied up in. I loose them and I set them free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your children, your child, whoever, my God Almighty, they have taken away with witchcraft I bind crump and paralyze I loose them I set them free by the power of the Lord God Almighty Holy Ghost fire blood and water take over right now in Jesus name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I loose and I set free right now in Jesus name Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, let God arise and the enemy scatter in Jesus' name. In the name of 
Hallelujah. Let the power of God fall right now in Jesus' name. Right now in Jesus' name. You are worthy, Jesus. Take over, Jesus. Move in your might and in your power, Father. Let not the enemy prevail, but let the Spirit of God arise and the enemy of their souls scatter right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, God. In the name of Jesus. Mighty God, Jesus. In the mighty, precious name of Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Let there be a new new day, a new dawning in the name of Jesus yes. Christ. Yes, yes. In Jesus' name. And I pray, Lord God Almighty, for the mother. I pray, O oh God Almighty, that she will not sit down and fret and get meager. But she will able, O oh God Almighty, to eat. Because since this situation, God, every time she eating and remember the daughter her appetite. Rebe! My God Almighty, I pray strength for the mother right now. I pray, O oh God Almighty, that angel will, my God, surround your daughter, surround your daughter. Surround her right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let God arise and the enemy scatter in Jesus' name. Father God, I command the daughter to show up to show up my God Almighty and run in and said, Mommy, I'm sorry, I don't know what get out over me, but I know that I'm free, Mommy, I'm free in Jesus' name. Free her, God, free her and set her free in Jesus' name. Yes, God, yes, God, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Every one of your people that has been tied up, help them to be free in Jesus' name. I receive it in Jesus' name. I receive it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Marco said to the candle of and bring down the plan of the enemy. In Jesus' name. Go ahead, Minister Gay. Go ahead. Bless God. My dear sister Eleanor, if I could just have your attention for a moment. Yes. As the Holy Spirit was going through the realm and tapping into your situation and taking out the roots, can you come forth and testify as to what was spoken? in your yeah. situation. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. I just give you all the praise, Lord, and honor. I thank you for all the apostle, guys. I thank you for each and every for me. I've been praying for somebody strong enough to intercede and, and intercede and pray and then just confirm what I already knew. I just pray for this. And God said for every she said, I think the Holy Spirit spoke to her, was correct. The, the young man in her college, I knew that with his life living. I didn't understand why she was even listening to my husband before he passed. He even said to her, you cannot be with him because he, that's unequally yoked. But that was when my husband said it. It seemed like that it was more to it than being unequally yoked. He must have seen something. And he just said, you just got to... He just can't be with him concerning, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend. And she didn't like him from the beginning like that. And then when he died, when my husband passed, he came into the house like the next day right after my husband passed. I was so out of that. I looked up and said, what is he doing here? And my husband didn't care for him like that because we didn't even really know him. We went even to her college to just so we could meet him and see him. And we didn't feel, we just felt that he was not supposed to be around him. We didn't know anything at that time. I didn't know. The Holy Spirit has been my teacher ever since my husband has nine years ago. And he's been like, can you just talk? Can you just do me a favor, my sister? Can you? I know you're excited. Could you just talk a little bit slower? That would be wonderful. I know this is a very emotional time, but just so we can, I can hear you more clearly. 
Well, first of all, yes. as I said before, with my husband and I, we uh, would go to the college to visit. And for, like, parent weekend, and the one parent weekend, we asked her to have him for dinner at, at, on the camp, on, on the restaurant with us, because we wanted to feel him out. We wanted to see who he was and what he was about. He didn't talk that much, but my husband kept saying to me, he doesn't need to be around Parma, and I, don't, and I was feeling the same way. And I thought it was because they were unequally yoked. He was Jewish, and uh, Pamela was really trying to win him over to Christ. She kept talking to him about the things of God, and he is filled with the Holy Spirit and feeding and things like that. He would see her life moving and how God was truly blessing her, and he, she, would, she wanted to share it with him. And that was not because of a course she wanted a relationship with him. She wanted to see him saved. And so after my husband passed, I noticed some things. I know she, I, 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 I actually got on the plane with her. And, and then we went to Harvard, and I moved her into Harvard Law School. And all of a sudden, uh, my mother passed four months later. And she said, Mommy, I just can't handle this. My grandma passing, and then daddy passing first. And we were, like, the, like she said, the little house on the prairie. We were like that. We were just like that. We had a really good family. My husband and I were close. We were married for 25 years. And my children were very close girls, y'all, three years apart. My husband and I prayed for each one of them. Got on our knees and prayed for each one of them. That's how they were born three years apart, because we prayed each time and we conceived. And we prayed in the Spirit a lot. We made sure the girls were filled with the Holy Spirit at an early age, so they'd be covered when they went anywhere to school or whatever. And um, we... We they listen to Christian CDs and tapes all the time, Kenneth Hagen Ministries and stuff. But I'm just I wanted to say what he was saying. It's a man. It's like one day Tamara came to me. She said I don't understand it. She said it's like he is a, a like he is a a, a a a a boy version of me. She said he can think things because I can think of what I'm thinking and all this stuff. And I didn't understand what she was saying when she said this. And then my other daughter said, I don't understand it either, Mommy, the youngest one. And she's on the line today to hear her. And, um, and, and then we would look at her and watch her. And then when she, she, was one, she was one of those people who could pass tests. You really didn't have to study. And um, if you had, they tested her. She was one of the brilliant. They said she was brilliant. And so, now, let me, let me stop you for one second, because what I want to make sure you don't do is I want you to stick so, with... Know. You know, just the details yes. that the Holy I Ghost was speaking. Only reason I'm saying this is you never know when an opportunity will come along and God will use the woman of God. So I really want to focus on, right. you know, the details that were revealed. You know what I'm saying? I just want to caution you. Okay. He mentioned something about his family being in witchcraft. The Lord showed yes. me that. I, and I and I spoke to my other two daughters, and I told them what I had seen. And I didn't see anything; it was more like a knowing in my spirit. And um, he would come here sometimes on Christmas um, because you know he, he believed in Christmas, but he, but he he was trying to bring him into you know to know the things of God. But when she his mother years ago wanted Tamara to go with him and and his, their family on a vacation. I said, our children don't do that. We don't know you all, and we don't send our daughter on vacations with other people. And my husband was on the other end, because I said, could I, could, I, could I just say something, David, and let me talk to her? And then I remember something hit my spirit when she said this. She said, I used to be a Christian, but I'm Jewish now, because she married, her husband was Jewish. And she said, she's going to have a mind of her own. And when she said that, it hit me, my spirit. I didn't understand what she meant when she said that. I said, I said at this point, I'm done talking to you, and that was it. <clears throat> and I and I know that she gave, and when she said the family was in witchcraft, yes. I, I knew yes. something was wrong because Tamara, yes. after my mother passed, Tamara left college, and I didn't know she had left law school, and she called me and said I, she said she was there at their house because she couldn't, they said they told her to come there and just dress right. herself. And that's what I wanted to confirm what the person said about the family. I believe they, yes, they are. That's what I know they are. They were trapped. And everything else she said was true. Everything. Bless God. And, I, and, I, and, I, want, and I want to ask you.
now, you know, when when the roots are dug out of the situation and, and it's exposed, yes. it's done. You, get, you understand what yes, I'm it saying? It's done. It's done. In the name it is of finished. So, take, so you take confidence and know with that expectation that, you know, you'll see the physical manifestation of this. Because the important yes. thing is it's done in the realm of the spirit. Now you're going to Amen. see the physical evidence of it. Amen. And I want to say this to you to encourage you, my my dear sister. I want to say this to you because while she was praying for you, I am not a mother, but my mother is. And I'm sitting here right now coming to you from the ICU. I'm sitting next to my mother's bed. And I'm telling you right now, my mother has not seen her son and Apostle knows this because this was before we met Apostle. Seventeen years. Wow. <laughs> One seven. And I feel oh your pain God. and I feel your crying, but here's a lady who's hooked up to a bunch of tubes right now, okay, who's <laughs> sleeping, who has been silently unable to verbalize, but silently crying. Because she can't even verbalize this the way you were screaming for your child. You know how God hears the cry of a mother? This is a lady who can't even utter the cry, which is why Apostle, you know, has been going to God and has been crying out and being the voice for this woman who I'm standing next to. She's got bruises on her hands. She's got tubes, IV in one arm, monitor over here. I can't tell you, a nasal tube, my mother never ate food in a nasal tube, okay? Right now, I'm sitting next to her bed, and, a, and it's, it's been documented on the line, so I'm not saying anything out of turn to the woman of God, but my brother has been witchcrafted and is still bound. So what I'm saying to you, my dear, is I'm sitting here as a sister to my brother, as a daughter to my mother, and I am feeling your pain. This young man has not even called his mother in 17 years. Okay? Can you even imagine that pain? I don't know how long it's been. You still have communication with your daughter. My mother has zero with her son. And all I'm saying to you is, I'm crying for your pain. And as I'm sitting here, watching this lady hooked up to a bunch of things that my mother never had hooked up to before, and I'm saying, what is this? I am in an ICU, but I'm on the line, and I am happy for Sister Eleanor, who I don't even know. But if I was there with you, I would, I would be with you, and I'd be holding your hands, and I'd be in agreement with you, because I can feel your pain as a mother for your daughter, having raised her the right way, the way my mother raised her son the right way, and saying, what is going on? And at least you have a voice that can scream out. And my mother can't even at this moment scream out. So I just want you to know that while you think it's bad, there's somebody that's even worse off. But God will come through for all of us. He will come yes. for each and every one of us. You know why? Because he put the watchman. He put the warrior. He put Apostle Sharon in our lives for a reason. And we have to, to take this and we have to give God testimony. We have to give him glory when we see the physical manifestation of them all coming back. Yes. That's what we're going to have to do for our Lord and Savior, because God's going to get the glory in your situation. Yes, he is. Your family yes, he is. is going to be restored in Jesus' name. Yes, in the name of Jesus. It's not going to stay like this. It's not going to stay like this for you. It's not going to stay like this for Minister Lance. It's not going to stay like this for Mother Janelle. It's not going to stay like this for all of us. It's got glory, to glory. change. Glory, glory, glory. And it's changing because the enemy has been exposed through the woman of God. She's right. Old enough. She's radical. She's radical. And she'll tear it down. She'll mash it down. She'll smash it down. Whatever God shows, she will do it. So you just be rejoicing. Take the Peter. Put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Lift up your voice to God. Turn those tears. 
Rejoice. Let him be joy. Rejoice. Yes, yes, yes. Rejoice. Rejoice. Because we're going to go into 2018. Minister Lance is going to be sitting at the table with his son. You're going to be sitting at the table with your daughter. I'm going to be sitting at the table with my mother and my brother. You're not going to be hooked up to these tubes anymore. Anyone whose family has been destroyed and disrupted, enough is enough of pain. Enough of this pain in Jesus' name. And God bless the warrior. God bless the woman of God. For seeking, for seeking his face and hearing his voice. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, yes. I give God praise at five minutes to five on Friday. <laughs> Glory be to God on the 28th of December. Two more days to the end of this year, and we're going to go out of this year with victory. We're going to finish off this year on a note of victory. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, enough is enough. The devil is a liar. And smash his head in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. He's under our feet in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Enough. I'm telling you, to say, uh, Eleanor, I'm telling you the love and the compassion that I feel. You be joyful, and you know God has answered your prayers today. He has answered yeah. them. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Rejoice. God. Rejoice because you're free. Hallelujah. Your daughter is free in the name of Jesus. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My name is Praise the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Bless the warrior. Bless the warrior in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Minister Gay, bless you. Glory be to God. Is there anyone with any testimony? Yes. Well, Mother God. Mother God. Bless God. Thank you, Lord. Mr. Lance, yes. Bless God. Yeah, I want to come forward with this, Mother God. Earlier today, you was ministering, and, uh, and you detected that witch. <laughs> I want to let the members of the empowerment line know how real you are. Listen, members of the empowerment line. <laughs> Not only has God blessed us with a root dipper, I want to show you how much of a punk and a, a coward Satan is. If a wish was so bad that can defeat the woman of God, why not this witch come forth? Think about it, members. Think about it. Yeah. Listen what the woman of God did. She gave the witch a chance to repent. Yeah. And the witch remained quiet. Listen, members. We all have been victimized by the evil one and his workers. They're cowards. We don't know nothing. At least I didn't know nothing about witchcraft. We are innocent. Our souls have been violated. God has blessed us with the Lord. Mother God, I love you. I will never leave this line. And this line is going strong. You've got to remember this day, members. Uh, the, the, the Holy Spirit revealed to the love of God, the Apostle Sharon Hamilton, a witch. And the witch could not even come forth because she knew the power of the root digger. God bless you, uh, Sharon, Apostle Sharon Hamilton. I just had to let the members know this is real. You're real. We're going into 218 with victory. That's all that's on our minds. And giving God, the victory belongs to God. Not me, not you. It's His victory. And He is raging over all of us. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. I love you all. God bless you. That is so true, Minister Lance. That is so true what you just said. My God. Who could not come forth? That's right. That's right. If anybody does, and if anybody has a testimony, I want to be specific on one thing. This is not pertaining to Minister Lance. This is just if anybody has a testimony, if it is about this ministry and about what God has done for you, using the woman of God, his humble servant, to bring forth your deliverance, your healing, whatever, certainly come forth and testify. If it's something that is related to what happened in your church or in your ministry, then bring your testimony there because we really want to be careful in mark twelve seventeen. it says to render to caesar what is caesar and to god yes. is god 
So we want to give glory properly. So if you have a testimony for this ministry, come forth in the name of Jesus. State your name and let us know your testimony. Give you the opportunity right now. Minister Lewis. Yes. Bless you. Sister Yvonne, I have a testimony. Um, I just want to say that I am truly blessed at what God has been, the Holy Spirit has been doing to Apostle Sharon. And, you know, this morning when I started to listen to the program, I was smiling because every time I hear her say, my bono no no, it brings a smile to my face because I just love that name. And I was like, if she, had, if she did not already own that name, I would have owned that name. But I remember her saying, nobody can take that name. That is her name personally. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Every time I hear her say that, I just bring this smile to my face because it is just like so awesome. It's just an awesome name. I don't know how she got it, but I just love the name. But what I really want to say, I had... Um, on my left foot, down close to my ankle. But I don't know because I'm wearing pants all day in the boots. I started feeling a soreness and a pain in that particular area. And one night I was just sitting on my bed. I think it was last week. I was just sitting on my bed and I was, and I said, well, something, let me get this all of that. Um, Apostle Sharon Bless. And I took up the oil and I rubbed the oil in my hand. I started to rub the oil over the, the pain on my foot. And I just started to say, God, I'm healed in the name of Jesus. I'm healed in the name of Jesus. And I did not pay that any money. But you know, I do not have that pain anymore. Bless God. That was from the anointing oil when we had the Sunday. Yes, it was from the anointing oil that she anointed on the Sunday. Bless God. Hey, hey. And it was- and I was like, oh, my God, God is so awesome. God is so awesome, you know. And and that is my testimony, you know, because I knew she, she prayed for me many times and I was having a lot of pain in my feet. And I had also made an appointment at the hospital to get my feet checked out. And before the appointment time came around, I had no pain. I didn't even go to the appointment. I had no pain in my feet. The pain was completely gone. And I did not have any pain. No, I'm not having any pain in my feet. And I'm just thanking God because it was her prayer. Because I remember I was dragging my feet. I could not even walk. I had to drag. No, I'm walking. God, I don't have pain in my feet. I'm saying thanks to God. I'm saying thanks to God and I'm blessing the apostle because of the work she's doing for God and she's doing a mighty work and like um Nehemiah she should not come down. She should continue to do God's work because she's blessing so many people with what she's doing. I'm trying to encourage some people but you know, some people are just like skeptical. But I'm going to continue to encourage people to listen because I know that when you listen you will be blessed because I will never see. I used I listened to her before I really got to know her. And one morning I was in the bathroom and the Holy Spirit said to me, remember the number you are going down. And I went and I got the number and I called that first Friday morning and I will never forget it. She has been a blessing to me. And I just thank God for her. In the name of Jesus. So just very quickly how you came across uh, but, okay, I was just looking. I was just looking for. I was just. I was on YouTube and I was looking, just looking, and I came across her and she was. She was preaching. She was praying. She was praying actually, and I started to listen to it. And I take the number and I wrote the number down on a piece of paper and I had it on my bureau for a while. And one morning I was getting ready for work. It was a Friday morning. And the Holy Spirit said to me, remember the number that you wrote down for the Apostle Sharon? And I went and take up the number the same time and call the the apartment line. Yes, church online. I take up the number the same time and I call and that's how I came to be online because the Holy Spirit directed me on the line. I just happened to to come and the Holy Spirit directed me to the line. Do you see, and and I don't know if you heard earlier, when Sister Sharonda was speaking, she was near death. I mean, 
mean, she was limp. She was not eating. She was not drinking. She basically was in a room in her house, just wanted to die. And she said, I, I didn't hear that because they had to be on and off because I'm at work. So sometimes they went off, they came back on. Basically, the whole day was on and off. I was on and off all day. When my phone would be ringing a lot, then I would have to turn it off. But I was basically on and off all day. Well, the reason I'm saying it is, is exactly the same way you said. I just, you know, was looking on YouTube and there, there she was. My point to everyone that's listening when this goes up on YouTube is, look at the God that we serve. Yeah, all the thousands that's and thousands an awesome of people God. that are on there. What are the, what are the odds? It's not for prayer. It's not for the mighty hand of God in it, wanting the best for you wanting the best for Sister Sharonda, wanting the best for others, you were directed there because the Holy Spirit was drawing you in. Yes. Power of the Most High God to come through for you. And, you know, people don't realize when your feet have the kind of pain that you had, if your feet, how are you going to walk if you're in that kind of pain? Yes, because I was really I dragging. Feet. I used to be dragging my feet. I used to be dragging my feet. I hardly could walk. I could not even walk up the steps of the train station. And I just was dragging. But today I can actually run because I could not even run. I could not even run. I could not run. But today I can run. And I'm just giving God thanks because she, she was indeed a blessing to me. And still, and still is a blessing. Thank you for that testimony. Let's everyone rejoice. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise be to God. Come on, people. Can you all glorify God for what he has done? Come on, people. When you all hear testimony, you must shout out, Glory be to God, hallelujah. You must give him the glory, people. Hallelujah, 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 glory be to God. Praise, give him honor. He deserved it. He deserved it. Hallelujah, glory, glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Come on, people, there are more testimony. Come on, time for testimony. Testify. Testify. Anyone else? Anyone else in the midst? Come forth. State your name. Don't be shy. We got. We have to give him glory. We have to share. Come on, people, bring forth your testimony that God has done on this empire. Praise God. God, in the name of Jesus. Next person, give your name and come forth. Bless God. Bless God. Bless God. Go forth, my sister. State your name and go my forth. My name's Tahira. My name's Tahira. I'm the sister of um, Tamara, the one uh, you're praying for, for my mom. And I, I just, oh my gosh. <laughs> I want to thank God for what you've done, um, what he's done through you because it's been really hard for our family because we've always been close and um, just seeing my sister like this is just really heartbreaking. Hmm. Yes. I can relate. I can relate my sister because I'm a sister watching this with my brother and I know exactly how you feel, honey. I know exactly how you feel, but God came through today. And, and I want you to have the confidence to know that when the Holy Spirit goes after and exposes what the wicked one did, working through people, it's done. Because remember what it says in Ephesians 6, it's not flesh and blood you're wrestling against, it's the principalities and the powers. But it takes a warrior, it takes someone with that calling, with that anointing to go after those demonic forces and bring them down powerless. 
that you just and um, it was confirmation for me because um, God showed me in 2014 that this guy was in witchcraft and like his family was in witchcraft. Like he showed me that, and I never really uh, trusted this person because like I just ever since I met him, like the vibe that I was getting wasn't of God. I felt so um, when I got the confirmation, I just I told my mom about it, and um, I got a confirmation from someone else as well. But I'm um, hearing that it was just confirmation for me. But you see, I'll tell you the, the, the interesting thing in the journey, which is what I learned working under the apostle and, and you know, really getting to understand, you know, the the commitment that she has and, and, and the relationship that she has with him is that we can understand these things. We may have, you know, a, a inkling about it or something can be shown to us. We can find out about it. But I myself did not have that authority or power. I could pray, but I did not have the ability to break it. You understand what I mean? There's a, there's a difference. You know, there are people that are, such as the woman of God who is anointed. She herself personally was under witchcraft eight separate times. You will hear it in different messages that's on the YouTube channel. You'll, like, catch it in different places. But basically, eight separate instances. Witchcraft worker, obia worker, putting spells on her, you know, holding her bound. Just recently spoke about being in bondage 30 years. Not being able to rise, not being able to have, you know, a, a mate in her life not being able to have the singing career that she originally was going to have. All of those things because of witchcraft, which is why she is so radical for the kingdom. Wow. So radical. Wow. Because to see people suffering the way your family suffers, the way others that have testified have been suffering, I myself, all of us, have had our suffering rooted in this kind of, you know, demonic activity. So I bless God that you were able to be part of this and to hear it firsthand. And when it goes up on the YouTube channel, you listen to it again and you just rejoice for your sister's Amen. freedom. In Amen. Jesus' name. Same for your brother. Amen. <laughs> yes, Thank glory God. be to God. You know what? We're one. We're one in the Spirit and we're one in the Lord. And we have to care for one another, it says. We should esteem each other more than ourselves. So to have that heart of compassion for one another and to feel each other's pain and to say, you know what, God, I might be going through something, but look what she is going through. Look what he's going through. And when you pray for others, you watch and see. And you have that compassion. Watch what he does for you. It's amazing. Amen. Amen. So God bless you. 2018. It's going to be the year for us all. We're going to have testimonies God bless like you crazy. Too. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Next person, come forward. Testify of the goodness of God, what he's done through this ministry. I praise God. I praise God for his and for his and for his and Empowerment 
changes. When you have people testifying, people say, oh, it has to be this or it has to be that. No, it doesn't. It has to be the Holy Ghost. Whatever the Holy Ghost wants, that's what it's going to be. Look at how God puts people with talent in the midst. Every person, whether you've spoken or not spoken, if you're working and you're on mute, everybody has giftings and talents. And God is assembling people together through this international ministry with giftings, whether it be voices to sing, whether it be announcing voices like Minister Lance, whether it be teaching ability like Teacher Crystal, Teacher Maureen, whether it be in a prophetess role like Prophetess Michelle, whether it be, you know, I can go on and on. There are so many people in the midst with giftings and talents. And what God is doing is, He's showing each and every person that there is a plan and there is an objective that God has through this ministry. And the testimonies are evidence of it. And when these messages go up on YouTube, and if you have situations like our dear sister Eleanor is going through, you can play the prayers. Not just the deliverance message of today. You can play every witchcraft table back to sender with holy fire. You can play a million times prayer to send back to sender. Whatever it is, you play it in your atmosphere. I can't emphasize it enough. As the woman of God is praying, you pray along. You be in agreement. You receive it. Keep that momentum going. That your faith will stay strong and rise and crush the head of the enemy through the warrior. They're all there for you available. So continue to tap in and take full advantage. Because if there's a day that we're not gathered together having service, you've got service right there because those are recorded exactly like we're doing now. <laughs> Next person who has a testimony, come forth. State your name and speak about what God's done through this ministry. This is Mother Janelle. Yes, Mother Janelle, go for it. Yeah, this past week, the boys and I, and I have had so much peace. So much peace that passes has all understanding and rest. And didn't even feel guilty about not going out. We just rested. And I'm telling you, this time of year is when things usually heat up for us. And it feels so good. I don't know if you know what rest is or peace is in many years. And I, I just bless God. It feels so good. And uh, it's all because of the apostle and her prayers and her love and her just continued support. It's just amazing. And um, I think I could speak for everyone. This church line has brought us edification. It has strengthened us. I, even for you, Minister Gay, when you first came on, I could see the power. There's so much more power in your speech and for what you're going through with your mother and to still be able to stand strong. This is all coming from the empowerment line, and I'm telling you, it, it has enhanced my prayer life. <laughs> you know, my prayers are more radical. And it's brought me closer to reading the Word and get into the Word. And, okay. and it's, it's just amazing, you know, so much has come out of this, just being on, on the church line. And a lot of times I'm weak and feel weak in my body, but when I get on this line, instantly I have energy. It's like that was missing all the time, and I just have instant energy. And I just thank God, and oh my God, I, I, I'm just praying that He'll just bless the apostles. It just bless her socks off. I, oh my God. Um, but it's it, it's it's just amazing. I just want to thank God and I praise Him and I thank Him for all He's doing in our lives. And I got very emotional today because I know I have some ways to go and I want to hear my children speak. And it, it touched me when you were speaking about your mom and that she's not able to speak. But at the same time, I thank Him every day for. All the all the major steps that we have taken towards the goal, and I just pray this before the new year is out, 
that, you know, we'll have some more testimony and miracles for everyone. And um, that's it. I bless the Lord. And you know what, Mother Janelle, that is so major because what you have to deal with is is 24-7, 365. And you have it times two. She has twins. So it is, you know, you are the one who's there. It's you. Just like me with my mom, it's me. You know, alone. Yes, I have, God bless, I have caregivers. But the thing is, as being the daughter, you know, I'm the only person. It's it's my mom and I, right? And it's 24-7, 365. And the thing that keeps us going is the love, right? Yeah. But without, without the warrior, I can speak for myself, and my testimony is that I would be six feet under right now. I wouldn't even be having a conversation with any of you right now. When the, when the warrior came into our lives, I was suicidal. And my mom wouldn't be here either because of all the medical situations going on with her. And I'm telling you, we're going to see this victory. We're going to see it. Their mouths are going to open. They're going to speak. They're going to do... I want the doctors, as Apostle said an hour or two earlier, when I was standing next to my mother's bed, she said, I want to see the doctors just marvel that this lady just gets up. I want to see the same for your sons where they say, the only explanation, there's no explanation we can give medically. It can only be God. Amen. That's what we want. Because God has to get the glory. Not medical doctors, not nurses. Thank God for them. God bless them. This is no offense towards them. But what I'm saying is these extreme situations, they want to give you pills. They want to give you this. They want to cut. They want to do this. They want to do that. We want to see this manifestation so they can understand the God that we serve. That Jesus Christ died, he bled, and he rose again for us all. He took those 39 stripes. 39! Because there's 39 categories of diseases. There's no mistake why he took 39. So every one of us has to be healed. Because he paid that already. And the peace that you just experienced during this few weeks, it's amazing after the spiritual house cleaning, the change as God took the warrior through in the realm of the spirit, room by room in your house, for those that were on that line two Sundays ago or three Sundays ago, it was nothing short of miraculous. Like being, you know, in a, in a, like an amusement park when you're in a car and you're on this like ride and you're going through a journey, that's how it was like going into your home. And after that spiritual house cleaning, look at the difference for all of you. That is. I mean, let's give God glory for Mother Janelle and her son. Glory be to God. Name, glory to Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And so, oh, God, Hallelujah. thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. For the peace to the king. That you gave to them. And that it will continue in 2018. Oh, God, what you're going to do. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Next person, if you have a testimony, these testimonies are just beautiful. And they will encourage others. Teacher Maureen? Yes, go I, for it, Teacher Maureen. I would like to give God praise and thanks for the empowerment line. I would like to give the power of the Holy Spirit that moved through Apostle Sharon, preached to it and that ministered to us. And since I have tuned into the empowerment line. I used to be so tired when I came home from work every night and would just lie down and put on the word and listen to it. But now it's it's like pushing me off the bed to jump up and go and pray. I have been so in tune with the Lord now, praying every minute. Every time I feel like the enemy wants to come and tell me things in my head, I would rebuke him and put on my 
my iPad or my phone, listen to the empowerment prayers, pray along. And now I am so strong in faith. The Holy Spirit has been using me to keep prayer meetings in my house every week to minister to my children. And I can't believe that I could teach the Word of God when I read uh, a lesson. I couldn't believe the words that was coming out of my mouth. And all of this is, is on behalf, it's true, Apostle Sharon and the, my brothers and sisters on the empowerment line. I would like to give remember, you a, Remember the calling? That's the calling. Teach your yes. words. <laughs> I was so afraid and, and I was so coward and I was doubting myself. And the Holy Spirit said, no, stop doubting yourself. You know, do your calling, do your bidding. And Apostle Sharon spoke to me. The Holy Spirit spoke to Apostle Sharon to me so firmly and so strong. It was embedded in my heart. I said, no, I have to do this. I have to do this now. I'm praying so much more. And I'm reading my Bible. And if I come home on the night of my prayer and I said my, say to my children, okay, let me just have a shower and we're going to get together. This one face strong. I was like, no, we're going to do it tonight. Because if it wasn't for the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, you all wouldn't be up, you all wouldn't be breathing, you all wouldn't be walking. And through Christ we live and we have to worship Him and honor Him and glorify His holy name. So I just want to thank Apostle Sharon for being on the empowerment line, for giving me this strength and this courage, drawing me closer to God. I eat, sleep, and breathe the prayers that's on YouTube. I am so, I can't do without it. Like this morning I got up and I had a little issue and, and I was running around trying to settle it and I was listening to the word and every now and again I was popping in and out, hallelujah, praise God. And if I didn't have that link, I don't know what I would have done today, but at the end of the day God came through for me and I just shouted out in the street, hallelujah, praise God. So. If I wasn't on the, this empowerment line, I don't know where I would be today. Probably crazy or probably in the, in the cemetery or somewhere, but I just want to thank God and thank Him so much for having the empowerment line. I am getting so, so mellowed now. Please forgive me. But I just want to thank Apostle Sharon. No, you know what you're getting? You know what you're getting, Teacher Maureen? You're getting radical. Yeah. Things that you're doing, you're yeah. taking the message that she said, get radical. Yeah. You're not getting yeah. mellow, you're getting radical. I, I, I can't believe it. Yes, I can't believe it. I can't, but it is God. Yes. 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 yes it's the zeal. It's the zeal. Remember the message that's on there about getting your zeal. And there's, oh, I think there's over 40-something scriptures yes. in the Word pertaining to zeal. Yes. And if I and go there's to work, nothing like it. Yeah. And when I go to work, if somebody comes to me and, and, and I would just, or I see somebody at the side of the street who I know and they'll be looking with all this frown on their face, I'm like, there's, I would just walk up to them and say, there's nothing impossible that God can't do. Just reach out to Him, speak to Him, give Him your heart. And I could have never done these things before. See? But You're radical. with the empowerment line, it gives me so much encouragement, so much strength. It, it encouraged me to pray more, things that I haven't been reading in the Bible. My eyes and my heart is opening up to everything. And I just want to give God the praise, the thanks, and the glory for Apostle Sharon and my empowerment line family. Because without you all, I don't know. You'll encourage me so much when I hear your voices on the prayers. And every night I'm on YouTube just digging into every prayer and soaking it up. So I thank God. Let's God. Let's Love give you. God glory, praise, and honor for what our sister just shared, for the testimony that she just gave. Hallelujah. 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 Because what she was experiencing was as a teacher, because that's her calling, as Apostle Apley, you know, said was her calling, she's been doing that with her family, and look at how God is using her. But also, 
getting radical, going up to people, sharing. You know why? Because she's so full. She's so full of excitement for what God is doing that we just can't help it. We have to share. And, and, and it's flowing out of her. And it's just becoming a part of her. What she's taking in, she wants to give out. So when you see people, give them the phone number. I was in, in a store the other day. I gave a, a lady a phone number. Whether they call it or don't call, guess what? They will call. Just do our part. Share the information. Lead them to the channel. Give them the phone number if you have the opportunity. Do whatever we can do to bring yeah. people. Yeah. I always tell them. God bless you. God bless you all and have a God day. bless you, Sister Teacher uh, Maureen. That was a beautiful, beautiful testimony of how your entire prayer life, everything, family changed. prayer life has turned around and changed Hallelujah. as a result of this ministry and absorbing, you know, and getting empowered with the prayers and the messages. Thank you. you really are taking it seriously. Bless God. And it's, and it's evidence in your life. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ooh. Glory be to God. Jesus. Hallelujah. Anyone else have a testimony? Come forth. Anyone else? Give no, your name. But we'll give them to we'll give, we'll give it me. Hallelujah. 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 If you got there for me, it is it in me. Amen. Amen. Yeah. That, that, was, that was my dad, uh, Brother Jean. Is that Brother Jean? Yes, he wants to say thank you, God, for healing him. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Bless God, I want to hear him some more. <laughs> yes, I want to hear him some more. How old is he? Um, How old is he, Minister Michelle? Y yes, Minister Gay. He can tell. He can tell his age. You can't stand him, Minister Gay. Okay. Brother Jean, this is Minister Gay. God bless you. That's what they're talking to you about me. God bless you, she okay. said. Oh, she said, yes. yes. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless you. And, and, how, and how are you feeling? How are you feeling? <laughs> How are you? How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah, that's a lot of you. He said he's fine. Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah. And how many years young are you? Oh, Tell us. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How old is he? Yeah. How old are you? Yeah. How old are you? Yeah. 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 He like me. 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 He Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. 
you, Jesus. Bless the name Hallelujah. of the Lord Jesus Christ. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me say this to you all. You all need to understand, everyone can sing. It's just that some people have more melody than some, but everybody can sing. Oh, Mother God. Are you going to train me? <laughs> Wait a minute, Mother God. I've been in the music industry for over 30 years. Mother God, as much as I love singing, I'd rather hear you and the evangelist. Praise God. <laughs> <laughs> what about what about our oh, dear Minister yeah. Michelle? She oh my God! Oh wait right, wait right, wait! Right. Right. Okay, apologies, uh, Minister Michelle. You got a beautiful <laughs> voice, also. Oh, but apostle, apostle, we need to put this on a recording. Think about it. Talk to God. We need a recording studio. I got the producers. All we need is God's approval. I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it at that. Minister Lance is ready to work. <laughs> Mother God, you know I will. I did the Mary J. Blige first record deal 25 years ago. Let's get to work. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. I want to give a testimony. You know, I want to give God thanks. Knowing that every Friday I can look forward to get higher in God. When I come on to the employment line, you know, I was sitting here and I was listening to Mr. K in the hospital room. And, you know, Looking back in some years gone by, it is just running so fast. When I was with Mama Phyllis a couple of years ago in the hospital room, when she was sick and, you know, the doctor gave her over. And in that hospital room, we had, I, I, I had it, the time my sister was in, in the midst, I had services that she left me alone and Mama Phyllis. She wasn't speaking. But she was speaking, but I have the uh, I have the music playing under the anointing power of God and nurses was coming here and every time they come they said I love here. I can feel this is a, they they call the room a, um a special room like they call it a worship room. But looking at Mama Phyllis on the bed, I know God is gonna do it. The Bible says, you speak it in being that if it is coming, that I know she, God is going to bring her through. But looking back, and you know, when I heard a pastor, I sit down here and I listen to everybody testifying. And when I listen to Minister Michelle, Michelle, that she was interpreting, I said, Sister K, this line is an international empowerment church online i said sister gay this you're gonna hear people come spanish Ita um um the call and those people that speak other languages and people gonna interpret when a puzzle is gonna which is part of under the anointing power it's gonna tell them what the Lord from the throne of God, what the Lord has said to them, and it is going to be international when people are going to come on this line, hearing the word of God straight from His throne. That God, this is a deliverance. They are international. This is an international empowerment deliverance line. And you know, I want many of us that come on the line. We just don't come for. Her. For God to say, just come to worship and then let God take over. Because Amen. when a pastor finished, she needs virtue. Virtue has left her. It's like when the woman with the issue of blood, the issue of blood, she was pressing through the crowd just to touch Jesus. And when she touched him, virtue left him, leave him. And he said, somebody touch me. We need to pray for a pastor. Yeah. Because when she's finished, 
And when I heard, I know God is in the midst of God's midday. He's the one that brings forth God's midday going for in line. And I thank God. I thank God. I thank God so very much. When I hear some of these people give testimony, it moves my spirit. I, was, I just get overwhelmed when I hear these people giving all the testimonies about what's going on. So it's for us to really, really and truly, truly give those testimony when we have them giving up to God to, to glorify God. It's all for the glory of God. All for the glory of God. So we have to, really and truly. And it's a blessing for me. Every day when I, when, it's a blessing when I'm off. I go, I read, get in the word, read the word, I get in. And I praise and I worship. You know, I, by myself without my daughter, I praise and I worship God. Because I see God's busy glory is really going higher. It's international. I see here. Sister Danny say, it's going to be, I know. I know God is in the middle. God is in control. And I thank God for, for God is telling the world, using the man to tell everybody, it's not me. God is using me, but he has to give it unto God. It's all about God, because this woman has love, love for each and every one of us. And I said, who in the world, some, I haven't seen no one like this yet, none. We've been coming out of using this, this time to pray for each and every one of us. Maybe there's someone out there, but I'm, I'm get, reaching, getting in touch with that person, not yet. There might be one out there, God could have them, but I haven't, I haven't heard or seen them yet. So it's for us to read and truly. It, when I get when I get off, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. When I come on, I'm blessed, it's a blessing. And I, I'm so happy to be amongst God's people. So, you know, God, that's, we have to give it up to God and to become in one accord and to cry out to God to give Him all the glory, the glory and the honor, because He is God. So, let us all testify. And the next thing I want to say, people of God, please. When we come and God's been a glory for him in line, let us not disturb the line. Let us not disrespect God. Please mute your phone. No talk, don't forget about it. Remember, God is first and foremost in our lives. God is first. Give him the respect. He needs that respect from us. So mute our phones. Just be careful what we say. When we come on appointment now, sometimes we're talking, we forget. I understand. Sometimes we all can forget. But please remember. But when this woman is flowing and going up to God for us, she don't want to get knocked off. And I know and I understand, and I get it now. So it's for us to really and truly mute her phone. And may God bless you, woman of God, and bless my sisters and brothers, family members and close friends, each and every one. I'm so happy to be among each and every one of you. I give God glory and I'm praise for what he's doing, and God be the glory employment line. So God be the glory in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Glory be yes. to God. Yes, Jesus. Glory. Bless God. Bless God. Bless God. I understand that Mother Yvonne, because of this hour, they are saying God's midday glory empowerment line. It is now is glory in the dawning of the morning empowerment line. And Sunday is Sunday glory. Okay, Sunday. Yes. Thank you, one of the Thank you. Thank you. Right. Glory be to God. Sunday is there anyone else in the midst that wants to come forth with a testimony before we close out? I just want to make sure everyone's had an opportunity. Don't want to leave anybody out. So speak now. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to service today. I'm just going to say a few quick things to remind everybody. Very exciting. We're just two days away. From the end of this year, so on New Year's Eve, which is Sunday, instead of having service at 12, we're going to come on at 6 a.m., and then we're going to be back again in the evening. Uh, Apostles starting probably at 10 p.m., and we will watch the year turn from 2017 to 2018, Holy Ghost style. We're going to do whatever the Holy Ghost brings in the midst. So you just get ready, you get excited, because if you've ever been with us for a New Year's Eve service, there's nothing like it. There's nothing like spending that time together in the Lord and watching Him be in the midst to do what He does best. So I encourage you, you'll have the whole day to do what you need to do with family, friends, whatever your plans are, and then we can honor the Lord at 6 a.m., 
and come back again. And you will be blessed beyond measure. I also want to remind everybody that the YouTube channel is available to us 24-7. You can type in the search bar a word, keywords, and you can find whatever message you're looking for, whether it be immigration, finances, marriage, children, sexual demons, witchcraft. You will find many, 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 many messages and prayers that will come up. And when you do, play them as our brothers and sisters have testified today, just like Teacher Maureen's been doing. Play it in your atmosphere. Get excited. Pray along. And as you do, lift up your faith. Receive what the Holy Ghost is doing in your midst. And you will see the salvation of God. You will see your life turn around. Remember that when we come on in the mornings during the week, we come on at 6 a.m., it's about half an hour of corporate prayer, and then afterwards the woman of God joins the service. Corporate prayer is a very special time where we get the atmosphere stirred and ready for what God is going to do in our midst. If you share the channel with anyone, if you share the phone number for the empowerment line, please remind them that it is not a prayer line. It is not a prophecy line. It is a church. We now see that it is an international church empowerment church and deliverance ministry that happens to meet on a phone line which the beauty of that is it doesn't matter where we're located we can all be together and we can participate you can certainly mute your line if you if you're working or whatever you have to do and you can mute in and out when you're available to take part but god is doing great things go on the channel re-listen to messages, play them, let them permeate and saturate and soak you. Soak your atmosphere. Put it on your iPad, put it on your tablet, set up a desktop or a laptop to run. I've got two computers running in my house while I'm here at the hospital. The dog is taking full advantage of hearing it in the house. I know I just said that for a laugh, but it is truly saturating my atmosphere. One in the in one part of the house and one in the other. And that is to keep the atmosphere clean and free and clear and keep the word going as the woman of God speaks. She doesn't just speak, but she commands and demons have to flee. Situations have to change. Don't take it lightly. Very important to keep my house clear and clean because what does it say? The devil is roaming, seeking whom he may devour. He's moving around, him and his henchmen. They are passing through there, passing around. So keep your atmosphere charged with the Holy Ghost through the woman of God, through the warrior, the root digger. The people of God know that this ministry is available to you 24-7 on that YouTube channel. You'll never, never, never be alone. You can always get the help that you need. If you would like to bless this ministry, Please do so by writing help to the email address, help for repentance, serve Jesus at gmail.com, and I will respond to you and tell you how you can do so. I want to thank Teacher Crystal for today, for coming in and stepping in and helping out, and for the gifting that God has given her as, an, as a, the call on her as a teacher. I bless God for her. I love her dearly. And people of God, we're going to end this service today with Matthew 6, verses 9 through 15, as Mother Yvonne comes forward. Know that the warrior is praying for each and every one of you. Know that we love you, and we never stop keeping you in our prayers. Because all of you and all those that are on YouTube, all the viewers and all the subscribers, all your family, relatives, and close friends, they're all in our prayers. Love you all in Jesus' mighty name. Don't forget Sunday. On New Year's Eve, you will be blessed. Go forth, Mother Yvonne. People of God, please repeat. Matthew 9. Matthew 6, verse 9 through 15. With authority. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom comes up with us in earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread. Give this day our daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread. Good. I forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. I forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. Forever and ever. Amen. Forever and ever. Amen. Amen. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, but if ye forgive men not their trespasses, Neither will your father forgive your trespasses. Neither will your father. Neither will your father forgive your trespasses. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory, Glory be to God. God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Amen, amen, and amen. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen, amen, Thank you, Lord. Glory be to God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, who is worthy to be praised and adored. We thank the Lord God Almighty for his goodness and his mercy, for his loving kindness towards us. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him, heaven and earth adore him. And just to know, my God Almighty, touching Jesus is all that matter. Because, my God Almighty, as long as we touch him, my God Almighty, with our heart, everything will be better. I just want for you to, my God Almighty, be blessed, you and your family. Every children, the baby in the belly that they call the tad. The one that come out, my God Almighty, for all the children, my God Almighty, my God Almighty, young people, my God Almighty, elderly, Lord God Almighty, everyone, the seniors, all the people, my God Almighty, all over. Just want for you all to know that, my God Almighty, that this woman of God love you all very, very, very much. But don't forget, my God Almighty, our Bununus, my Bununus, love you all more, 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 because he's the one who. Riviasha is the one who died on the cross of Calvary for you and I. Be blessed, people of God, and come and join with me. My God Almighty, hallelujah. hallelujah. My God Almighty, the 31st, to have a wonderful time in Jesus' name. God bless you all. God bless you all. As we, my God Almighty, hallelujah, hallelujah, go a separate way. Don't go away, my God Almighty, without Jesus Christ in the midst, and keep on praying, for he will do great and mighty things. And as I continue to pray for you all, be blessed. Go on the YouTube channel, people of God. Put on your testimony. And just, my God Almighty, brag about your Jesus. Because I'm bragging about my bonanunus. In Jesus' name. Love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. My God Almighty, Holy Ghost, kiss. Mwah. 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 We appreciate the time, God. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you,